I'm Brittany Montez and this is the Orlando Health News Review for February 10th. Life has found a way back here at the Dinosaur Invasion at Lou Gardens presented by Orlando Health Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children. Explore the Jurassic Gardens to find some of the most feared creatures on the planet, featuring over 20 life-size dinosaurs ranging from 14 inches to a massive 33 feet. The Dinosaur Invasion is taking place now through April 18th. And Orlando Health extended a huge thank you to our amazing team members who work hard every day to provide the highest level of care to our community with appreciation events at multiple facilities across our healthcare system. Thank you for all that you do. And recently, our very own Jessica Daly, the Consumer Health Librarian at the Clifford E. Grace Community Health Library, was awarded the Hospital Librarian of the Year Award for 2021 by the Southern Chapter of the Medical Library Association and awarded a grant from the Network of the National Library of Medicine to fund the Orlando Health Literacy Ambassador Program. We chatted with Jessica to see how team members can take advantage of this great resource. Participation, now that we've gone virtual, has actually gone up 200%. So this has just really opened the door to us just reaching more people in our community. Team members can refer their patients and their family caregivers to me and my services, but team members can also use my services as a patient or a caregiver themselves. When you know more about your health, you're ultimately gonna feel better. Hi, I'm Kelly Neerstead, the president of Orlando Health Winnie Palmer Hospital for Women and Babies. And I'd like to share with you an email I received from a grateful patient who experienced our vaccine clinic. Dear Kelly, your staff and leadership really have their act together giving out all of the COVID-19 vaccinations yesterday. I have never seen a more efficient, courteous, and finely run operation in my entire military life. You and Orlando Health should be the ones in charge of running the entire state of Florida's vaccination program. Well, that's it for today's edition of the Orlando Health News Review. See you next week.